hey y'all welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be about um treat making for an oreo okay now i'm going to do partial of oreo for those of you who follow me you all should know how to use my cavity oreo pen this is a six cavity pen that i got off of amazon if you follow me you'll uh check out that video um I'll try to link that below if I don't forget, as I fall, always forget. But anyways, what you want to do is get you some fondant. What I did is I mixed black and white fondant together to get this gray. So you just want to get a very small piece of black and mix it with your white. A little can go a long way until you get the gray that you want. Now, then you will also need you some black luster dust there it goes visible you will need you some cmc powder or tylose powder your rolling pin of course a flat shader brush a flat brush i meant and of course your mat and then you also need a square cutting tool now this is big as you can see i have a smaller one i just ordered another one so this is the bigger one but if you do not have the smaller one to size for this cavity you can use this tool and measure it out and i'll show you how to do that so let's get started on how we created this brick square that's going to go on top of my cavity mold and yes i made it look dingy okay so let's get our fondant so we have our gray fondant rolled out here the next thing you want to do is take your impression mat, whatever brick impression mat you have. You want to put this up against your fondant. I left this off too as a supplies, as, long, as well as this too, your molding too. So you need that as well, y'all. Okay, so you want to put your mat down. And I just press on mine. Like that. Then I go to the that next line, I measure this up closely, and that's why I make, I make my next indent. Now, you won't be using all of the fondant, but I'm just doing this like if you're cutting out so many at a time, okay? So, the next thing I want to do is take my square cutter tool, place it for where most of the brick is, and you just cut that off. All right, remove the excess fondant around. Now you see on here, they have round edges. We don't want that. We want it square. So what I did was, for those who don't have the smaller cutter, I put my fondant up against the mold. Because I don't have an Oreo right now in front of me. So but this is just demonstrating how to do the fondant. I put it up against the, the edges. And I measure off I need, where I need to cut which is about right there. You want to take your cutter. Do not use the edges. You want to use the round part of this thing. Do not use this round part on there. I cut off about right there. So I'm going to go up. And cut that off. Cut off all the round edges because we don't want that in here. And then you just measure it back until you get the actual size. Now I'm going to go ahead and do that. Measure it again. And I'm going to do that again to make sure I get the right size, the right size for this. Okay, so now we got our gray brick fondant cut out now. You want to make sure you smooth your sides by rubbing down the sides of it. So you don't have any imperfections on here. Then you just resize your fondant to your mold. And it's a perfect fit. Alright, you want to make sure it's a perfect fit. No overages. Now the next step we're going to do is take our molding tool. 
we're going to indent some of the lines forward and backwards down and up and this will give it some more depth of brick I'm going to continue to do this until I went through each line. You don't have to do this step. It's up to you if you want that. What's going to go in the middle of this is a fist of the Hulk fist. And you're going to see how I'm going to put that together. Alright, I'll be back. Now this is what our brick looked like realistic, right? Versus what it looked like before. Now you want to take your petal dust with your brush and go in between it lightly. Um, this one I did is a little darker, but you don't have to do it that much. Or if you want it to look like it's green, like vines, because I'm going to do that to my cake. But if you want to put green dust in in between the bricks you can do that too or you can just keep it with brown or black whichever one you choose because this does create a mess you want to make sure you put it on a paper towel you can get some of your dust out of your jar put it in your lid dab it around some and just go in between the cracks like that and just use whatever's left on your brush and then you can swipe the bricks once you went in between your cracks now I'm just gonna swipe in between my cracks with what's left on my brush and you can go as dark as you want or light as you want. It don't matter. Alright, so if you're new to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you never miss an upload from me. If you're old to my channel, thank you guys for tuning in and supporting me. Please put your questions and comments down below. Stay tuned for some upcoming videos from me that you'll be seeing of a party. Thank you.